please, 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 if you are below 18, don't watch this video. You are not eligible to start, you know, doing the do. Don't watch this, please. And if you're not married, don't watch this. Okay, let's get comfortable. I'm trying to get comfortable. Hi, loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Tiffany. Oh, I wanted to say that this is not planned at all. It's Tiffany Surrogate. Yes, you guys might know me as Tiffany Reka, but I mean, you guys, if you're watching this, it means that I have uploaded at least one of my wedding videos, which is my traditional wedding video, which happened in Accra, Ghana, a week ago. And oh my god, I'm no longer an Eweka. Yeah, technically speaking, I mean, I have to do like the whole change of name and everything. But I think my YouTube, my YouTube name will still be like Tiffany Erica because that's like my brand. But officially, I'm now Mrs. Sorogaye. Traditionally, I'm now Mrs. Sorogaye. And the sight of God, <laughs> witness of God, I am now Tiffany Sorogaye. I am no longer Tiffany Erica. <laughs> wow, guys, it's been... It's been a week since I got married and it's just been amazing. I'm currently on my honeymoon. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see that honeymoon vlog. It will be out soon. But you know what? I decided, I mean, like, while I was sleeping yesterday in my sleep, I, I don't know if it's a, it was God that told me or it's just my head. But I heard this voice tell me that she just had a series about the new wife because honestly, I'm clueless. I don't have sisters I've been married before. I only have like my mother, my aunties and whatever. I don't have any close friends that have been married, that are married. <laughs> you know, like my best friend is not married. My other best is not married. My sister is not married. I mean, my, sister, my friend who I call my sister, she's not married. In fact, my closest friends are not married, so I don't have anybody to really tell me or help me with this phase in my life or give me advice. All I can hear are just people that are probably older than I am or people that just care to tell me, like, if I care to listen, tell me how it is being married. And Any which ways, I don't want to take too much of your time. This series will just be, like, short, short details, you know, as and how I learn new things about myself, marriage, and my husband. So, like I mentioned earlier on, I am on my honeymoon. My husband is taking me to a lovely destination and I am so excited. I don't have my ring light here, so I'm trying to use like a light up there. So I hope it's going to give me good quality. So from the of today's video, we're going to be talking about my honeymoon bag. <laughs> what I carried <laughs> our first night. <laughs> When I say our first night, I really, I, I legit mean our first time, like our first time, first night married. Because it's like the first time that we're legally doing it. <laughs> this is the first time that we're not sinning according to the Bible. You know, we're not kids on this channel. Like, let's just be real on, you know, real, real, real. <laughs> it's my, it's heavy. It has a lot of stuff. Kinky. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No kinky stuff here. Well, technically, we're all I'll just close my eyes and let randomly pick the first thing and explain why I got it or who I got it from or what is the essence of having this particular item. So, okay. Oh, this. This is the first thing. Sex manual. My best friend, my BFF, she got me this. She got me this manual and it's, 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 Mm, it's crunchy like <laughs> she's like girl <laughs> you know it's like it's a sex manual i mean technically so i'll just be like the first thing it has here so that will last more so the first thing says how to make it look like you've never had it before this was very important to me because i mean this we're not kids and this isn't the first time we're doing the do it's not actually our first first time but it's our first time as married people so like first time yes i was just being transparent so this particular this particular um part was really really it really really helped us you know that night and the first thing says prepare so assuming you've not had sex with him yet you should prepare yourself for the big night obviously you've been around the block a few times but you have work you have to work hard getting some there's some bad word I can't say, yeah. So the next one, pelvic exercise, floor exercise. This will help you pull things together. They also said apply lemon juice. This will make it pluck. I don't want to say so much, but this what well, this was this this particular manual was really good. I mean for our first night here, like we actually it was really good. So 
the other things how to fake it like fake an orgasm you know how to use sex to get what you want the hook it just has a lot of things it's 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 an amazing book like um an amazing manual i'm so shy reading it because my daddy might be watching this video right now but for me as me thank you funny manual so this was really good so i would say that maybe just to have spice things up you might not necessarily get this manual but there's some like these cards that are, like you know some some sex play cards like you can just like flip over you, you and your partner can do some new things just, just to spice up the night especially when you've actually been around the block so you need like something like this like it's fun i mean you can have the cue cards or something like this so this was fun so yeah <clears throat> getting to the next thing in my bag let's see oh <laughs> buddy miss yes this this is very very important to me i mean you have to smell good at that night like you don't just have to look good you might look good you might look pretty your outfit might be right if what if you're not scenting nice so for my for my first night with my husband i decided to go with this body mix victoria's secret body mist my cousin got me this and it's it's just like the perfect smell like it's so sexy like it just smells like like when he even he even like sniffed on me. I was like, baby, it smells so good. Like he always says I smell so good, but this particular night, for him to have said I smell so good, because he knows I usually smell good. It means that it means that the mist you know was working. Like you have to have like some nice body mist. Don't get something too strong. Make sure it's mild, it's soft. You know, it's just sweet because this smells really sweet. I mean, so you don't you can never ever go wrong with a good body mist that is mild. Don't get something strong before you people are like irritated like Ugh, you know so that is the second thing i have in my honeymoon bag number three what? <laughs> ah, we have lingerie the lingerie i wore i mean like because it's, it's like the third today is like the third day in, in our honeymoon paradise yeah so i got I didn't buy this new I've had this for a while like I said I did not I forgot to get a lingerie because I thought that I was gonna get one as a gift but nevertheless I had one and ladies for your lingerie you have to get something that is literally smaller than your size because if you look at me I look at it you're like how do you fit into this and that's the point because why are you getting covered up when you got you guys are about to have a very very good time <laughs> so yes I, I got I wore this yeah yeah exactly so I, well, I don't want to talk about it too much just imagine this with like smelling scenting of this you know how it was uh, you know how it did be <laughs> so yeah that was what i wore and it was really tempting and he had seen it on me before and luckily for me i think i'd only worn this once before so him seeing it again he forgot that I probably wanted it and he really liked it i mean and it's a color that suits me um i if i wear red or this is burgundy or wine that's like my colors like it really brings up my tone so you would always if you are um depending on your tone or your shade or whatever you'd want to get something that matches your tone so it just looks sexy you have like a sexy appeal so yes moving on to item four okay i said i won't look i looked down the first the third time sorry so moving on to item four let's see okay this is also perfume but this is perfume oil you know i love like I said smelling good so I use this as like a base you know perfume oil like just to like blow more and I, like I said mild scent and this I got it from I forgot where I got it from it was somewhere in Ghana but this is the enchantress I remember my the, the secret behind <laughs> getting this perfume I, I was never mind but yes this is a very 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 sexy perfume oil it's very very good hit me up in the dms my dm not my dms in the comment section if you want if you want to know where i got some i'll try and find where i got it from but i have to know if you guys actually want it so i'll try and remember where i got it from it was a store here in ghana i mean so good i remember telling the guy that i needed something to just like very sexy and he gave me this and i've had it for a while and trust me my man when he smells this on me he goes mad <laughs> moving on i four items so moving on to item five let's see Woo! baby oil guys you need baby oil it's very very important 
it is very important especially when you want to do something like sexy like a massage you know you want to give your partner a massage it's very important i am a huge fan of massages like before doing the do because it's important it sets you up and it sets you in the mood and it just you know makes things right like you know you guys can give each other a massage i did not get a proper proper body massage oil but baby oil would always be better for me because besides massages you can use it like just to glow you know look nice before doing the do <laughs> I'm just saying do it do because I don't want to say that word and I don't want to get like censored by YouTube or whatever. Yeah, so and I just watch this video, so please no kids watching this video. So yes, you want to get baby oil, it's good for massages, you know, just rubbing it down, you know, it's it's nice. So you wanna come with baby oil, it's very, very, very important. Yeah, so that's item five. Now my last one on my list, this one I want to bring out now, please. It is like Sorry, excuse me. It is like the most important item of the night. It is the most important item to travel with. In fact, you can forget all these. Like you can mistakenly leave all this at home. I mean, you can always get like you can always just smell nice with some of your perfume and probably just wear bra or pants or not even wear anything at all. After all, this is gonna come off you know you might not even have a massage but this other thing if you don't have it and you don't feel like doing it and you don't have this thing i mean there's no way that the night will happen and it is something that a lot of newlyweds make a mistake of not traveling with it's something that if you are still a virgin and you're just using your virginity for the first time you might need it it's very very important and as i've said this i'm sure a lot of people know what i'm talking about but yeah lube yes lube is very very important i got this we got this at a pharmacy to have lube because i mean you might not feel i don't know because of like stress sometimes stress stress makes you not feel lubricated enough you know you're just tired you feel like you're in the mood but you just feel i mean meds i had been taking a lot of meds prior to the wedding because i was sick so i was on a lot of meds so i i just you know i just knew that i wasn't gonna feel and i i told my best bff that oh you know i think i need this and she's like yes it is very very important so yeah you know if it just works you know this particular one they told us that it was meant to be good and i've only used it once since on the trip because i later on felt stimulated but that first night is like i just knew that i wouldn't feel stimulated and when we used it, it was very 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 good so besides that i mean besides all of this this is very very important you need lube it's very important it really helps it's a lifesaver you know once the i don't want to this is not a porn or whatever this is a sex class but yeah these are just my the small small things we packed for our wedding morning, our first night and it was it was amazing you know the wedding and all was amazing it's great been married now for a week i guess and it's been it's been nice you know it's just like it's, it's it's there's nothing really new new nothing really like scary about it so far because we're each other's friends you know we're like besties we understand each other so it's just like it's still the same old you know but it's nice because now i'm now like a full missus i have my second ring my ring band here then plus my engagement ring yeah so that's it so basically this is just me being me and this is my new series the diary of a new wife you know this is what i just thought to pack i mean if you're if you've been married for a month a year two years weeks or freshly fresh of the oven fresh out the oven like me i mean tell me how it is tell me what you did on your first night being just married tell me what you did how was it was it you know did you end up doing anything because <clears throat> I mean, I, I, our wedding, our actual wedding night, we're so tired. We had just gotten back to the hotel, and my husband was like, "We should count the money we made because he likes money too much." <laughs> I was tired. It was like 1 a.m. We didn't finish arranging the money till like three. Then I slept up. Then he ended up counting it till like 4, 4:30 a.m. And we couldn't even go for Thanksgiving that the next day because we were just damn so tired. And after that, we had to go back to his, you know, get his parents together so that they could travel back to Nigeria and. Then Wednesday we traveled out for our own honeymoon. So I mean, so we didn't get to have that first night. First night, so we, that's why, like, okay, honeymoon, we'll have our actual first night. So we did the wedding on when on, on a Saturday, and we did not have our first night till Wednesday. Crazy, right? I know. So yeah. So that was it. So yeah. 
so basically i remain your favorite girl once used to be known as tiffany Reka, now tiffany sorega yeah but i'll keep on saying tiffany Reka because as per brand so yes let me know once again what you thought about this video let me know more things you want to know i learn about if you want to if you want me to have my partner on the next episode so let me know yes Mwah.